Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Today, we're doing another sticker haul. This is long overdue, but since uh, I don't want to go outside because of the virus, here I am presenting all the things that I bought in February. I think all of these things are from Vancouver. So if you're in the Vancouver area, you can go ahead and see if you can find them yourself. I took a trip recently to Vancouver in the beginning of February, right before all this virus stuff started. So, the first place we are going to talk about is Muji. Muji is a place that many people talk about for stationery, but I went there for an umbrella because Vancouver is very, very rainy and I didn't pack an umbrella because I was like, let's just go buy one. Guess what? Vancouver's Muji had really cute umbrellas and I bought a cute red one and then I left it at a pizza place because I'm dumb. Anyway. So at the Muji, I bought an umbrella and then we were passing by the sales section and look at what I found. A craft paper notebook. Not really craft paper, this is like very, very thin and flimsy. It feels like, I think like recycled paper or whatnot. Uh, it was on sale. This doesn't say how much it was on sale, but I think it said a dollar, but then I got it for like 50 cents. And when the lady gave me back more change than I thought that she would, I didn't know if I had given her the wrong amount or if I miscalculated or something. But she gave me a lot more change than I expected. And then I ran out of that store because I was very glad that I got this unbleached paper for like 50 cents or whatever it was. I had debated between this color or a lighter color, and I think I like this color better. I don't remember what the lighter color looks like, but yeah. Then we went to the Chinese garden, the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Chinese garden, and I went to the gift shop and I didn't go crazy, but it was very uh, satisfying to look through all of the postcards in there. I got three. One of them is already in my journal, but this one is very pretty. There are a bunch of cranes on here. The back is blank, but so pretty. They have like a lot of local artists showcased there, so that was really nice. And then this one is about rice dumplings. Do they call them rice dumplings? These are zongzi. I don't know if we call them rice dumplings. Banana leaf dumplings? I don't know. But the back is blank as well. Uh, I got another one that was just a painting of the garden and it was so pretty and I already used it in my journal so I'm not going to showcase it here but it's so pretty. The store had a lot of these crane design lines so I got um, one of these which is a whole pack of crane sticky notes. This is super pretty. There's a blue one as well but I got the red one. Uh, you have little tabs here, little square sticky notes here, which I really like. I like the size. You don't usually see the size anywhere. And then you have the full-size memo notes here. I don't know how I'm going to use all of them, but we shall see. Another place that we went to was Paper Ya on Granville Island. Here's the bag. There is a Paper Ya in Toronto, but I never go to it. Have I been to it? I think I have when I was like a teenager, but I never bought anything because it's quite pricey uh, and I feel like you need to be financially well off to be able to spend a lot in this store. I did grab a couple things. First thing I found was this book. It's called Finish Nightmares. Usually I don't buy hard copy books because I travel a lot between towns and stuff. So I don't like to carry books on me. I like to read them on like a, like my phone or whatnot. But this one was just so cute. And it's about like really awkward situations that a lot of people can relate with. Like this one, when someone next to you moves to a vacancy and you start to wonder what's wrong with you, me. Actually not me, I'm glad that they moved, but like, you know, me. And then when you see a seat open up but don't want the person next to you to think you're moving because of them, this one is me. I feel very awkward staying in that same seat, but also like, uh, I feel bad if I move. <laughs> and then, I, uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When a salesperson accidentally touches you, and it's like really awkward. Oh, it's not gonna focus. Wow, okay, whatever. But you know, it's all about uh, life's awkward moments. And the next thing 
<laughs> this is really random. But the next thing I got at Paper Ya yeah was a floss keychain. Why? Because I recently found out that my friend loves to floss so much that like his dentist is telling him to stop because it's making his gums recede. That's how much he likes to floss. I, I bought him this floss keychain because it reminded me of him and I have yet to give it to him and it's been a month. And he's probably, actually he's not going to see this video because he doesn't care. But you know what? I have this for him. Here you go. Sir. The next thing I bought was solely for myself. I was looking for stationery for my journal and this was like perfect because it's a paper pad with a bunch of artsy, nice decorative paper. But they're all different. So here's one with, oh my god, the lighting's not working. Um, here's one with uh, little cherry blossoms. Oh, that's also cherry blossom one. Oh, maybe they're not all that different. Here's one with a blue flower. Oh, there's a just random... Oh, it's by me, Dory. I didn't know that. Here's a random line paper. Blue flower again. A little pink flower one. Cherry blossoms. Red flower. Okay, so it's like four different ones. But at least I know I can like use different ones. And I think the last place that I got stuff from is Umomo which we also have in Toronto but I never found this many uh, uh, stickers and stuff in the Toronto location when I went and I think Umomo is what Daiso used to be in Canada and they were, and then Daiso moved out and then Umomo came in and there's a lot of stores like this but so what I got was, let's start with oh my god, funny story at Umomo <laughs> let me just uh, make this more suspenseful so we went in before we could get into our Airbnb because it was right next to our Airbnb and we had all our suitcases and our backpacks with us and the security guard literally followed me around, me and my friend around the entire freaking store. Like he was making sure that I wasn't filming because my camera was hanging off my neck and he would literally like look straight at my camera and I'm like sis chill out. Like it's a umomo like... <sighs> But anyway, you know what? Security guard's doing his job. He was literally out to hunt us down. And I'm like, do you want me to steal? I'll steal if I want to, okay? Sir, get off my back. Anyway, so I got this uh, washi tape. This is the only washi tape that I got this entire trip. Wow. Uh, it's a glitter tape. You can't really see, but it's a pink and a red glitter. And uh, it's both thin tape, so I really like that. It was two dollars only, so that was nice. And then there, I got a sheet of paper, design paper, uh, a bunch of sushi ones or Japanese snack ones. I have a lot of things about Japanese like foods, and I don't eat that much Japanese foods because they're not that readily available, other than maybe sushi, and even then. So I don't know how I'm gonna incorporate all of this, but I shall. So there's four designs. Uh, one with sushi, another one with onigiri and tamago, one with more like hot dishes and stuff. And then this one is really cute. I really like this one. It has like taiyaki and dango on it. So cute. Next we have memo sheets. These ones are very neutral. I like memo sheets that you can actually like write on because then I can use it more. But uh, yeah, these are just three designs. Super do. Oh, they're label memos. So are they stickers or are they memo sheets? I think they're still memo sheets. Yeah, that's that. And then I did get one of these packs. I used to have another one in another design and I used them all up. It took a couple years, but still. I used them all up and I really like these because they're actually stickers. So I can write on them and just stick them down instead of having a memo sheet where I have to put glue on the back and then stick them down. Yeah, first world problems. These are exclamation ones. What else did I get? I haven't looked at this bag since I came back. Ooh, this one's cute. This one is just garlands. <laughs> Little confettis of triangles and stuff. Very cute. Not that pricey, but they were like two bucks, two twenty-five, two fifty at each. Sometimes it's hard to justify buying these things because you know what? A girl's gotta save some money. But I was on a trip and I don't know if I, I didn't know if I was ever gonna see these stickers again. So that's why I buy them. Next one, more party things. I don't party that much, but I really like pretending like my journal is lit, you know? 
<laughs> so then I bought a lot of these like cute party colorful things. Um, this one's really nice, lots of colors on here. And they have like little balloons there as well and I really like balloons, so that's that. Ooh, more of these uh, stickers that you can write on these memo stickers. I would take them out, but I'm really too lazy to clean up. You have, ugh, if I cover this up, maybe can you see? Well, there's like hand gestures and stuff on these things, so then it's really cute. Uh, what else am I going to say about them other than they're cute? Oh my god, how many of these did I buy? Pretty much the same packs, where it's like flake stickers and then you can write on them and they're very uh, neutral, you know, because sometimes I've bought uh, really eccentric ones in the past and then I can't use them in very many spreads because they're so in your face. Oh my god, yes, I bought myself more cherry blossoms. <laughs> I have a lot of cherry blossoms to go through, but you know what, I really like having pink and uh, red spreads, so I'll use these a lot. <laughs> wow, more pink flowers and little birds too. That's really cute. <laughs> Uh, I think there are multiple sheets in here. I'm not sure. There's 52 stickers, so it's probably multiple sheets. I really hope... No, I don't think they're going to be different stickers. Oh, well. They're cute, though. Then I got a bunch of uh, brochures and stuff. I don't know if you guys want to see them. Like, these are from the Chinese Garden. I'll find some use for them eventually. One from Granville Island. I haven't even looked inside. I just grabbed a lot of brochures so that I can use the photos in them. One about Forbidden Vancouver, House Mountain that I never went to, but there are a lot of nice photos of like the snow scenery and stuff. This one's about the Capilano Suspension Bridge, which has really nice photos which I can cut up and use. And this is about the Museum of Anthropology at UBC. There's a lot of nice art in there but we weren't able to stay very long, so I don't know how much we'll be able to use of that. I feel like I bought a washi tape at some point in February that I'm not including in here because I can't find it anymore. February has been wild, guys. March is also wild. You know what? 2020, wild. See y'all next time. Bye.